All right, let's continue our tutorials on the Prime UI theming. Uh, today, uh, I will cover the scope tokens, which is an interesting topic. In the previous tutorials, we have covered the design tokens, the dark modes, uh, how to use CSS variables and tokens in general. Now, uh, today's topic is how to use these tokens based on specific components. There's a section about this on the documentation scope tokens. Let's see what I have written. Design tokens can be scoped to a certain component using CSS variables. In this example, the first which uses the global tokens, whereas the second one overrides the global with its own token. So this one is the global uh, token and this toggle switch does not do anything. It just relies on the global token. So when you change the colors, um, it just retrieves everything from the global setting. But in case you'd like to customize uh, a, a component uh, in, on a locally in, in a particular case, then the scope tokens might be really handy because these, as the name implies, this uh, this set of tokens does not affect the global setting. So again, so that you can have different uh, components, different styles side by side. So to demonstrate, to de demonstrate, let's see uh, how this can be done. We have the new property called DT. This will overwrite the global setting. And now this can be an object that you might also share if you place it in a global place as well. And here what, I'm, what I've done with this demo is that I get the handle and just, just uh, add, add four pixels border radius, which is um, smaller than the global one in this aura theme. And as you may already know, the color scheme is the uh, reserved word that allows you to create tokens and CSS variables uh, based on the color scheme that you use. In the light mode, the root should have these properties and handles should have these properties. And the dark mode, you can have different colors and different settings as well. You might even do crazy stuff like changing the border radius in dark mode, which is not very practical, but this, this technique also allows that. So let me check out the input text. Let's begin with something simple. This is the basic doc and this one, what you see here is that one. And now um, let's see what we call a DT. And this should be an object, my input text. Let's say big input. And this one is using options API, but you can also do it with composition API and big input is now at this point you we, we can see the theming section this part documents all the available design tokens like input text background input text border color and let's increase the paddings padding y this one and if you are using typescript you can get you can have uh, auto completion as well um, let's call make this 2REM and let's go back. Now you see that this is a giant input and but the rest of your application, these inputs are not affected. And here we can also see the select. Now I will do something interesting. Let's go to the select, which is this one. And let's, let's try to customize the color of this um, icon and to see if we have anything. P select drop down icon is the class name. Select um, drop down color. Yeah. Let's use DT my select and my select is would be drop down. As you may know, the dots uh, can have, let's call it red. And you know, these dots, you can have the object notation here, you can use the camel case or the object hierarchy as well. And now this one is red, or we can use other tokens as well, like uh, primary 500. Or primary color you can also use other tokens 
and let's see what we have theming drop down select background that might be interesting background let's call it primary 50 let's see what we are getting sorry this should be here under root now we are getting somewhere and th this is the um, the background has received a primary 5 f50 and the drop down is primary color and but you may notice that other inputs are not affected so this documentation is your pathway to see what we have uh, provided so far there are many tokens uh, to choose from and at some point uh, you might see that the tokens may not maybe there's a token that you need but it's not it's not available on the list the upcoming tutorials we will cover how to extend the default css and how to bring your own tokens to this uh, equation so that you're not limited to what we provide but that's for another tutorial so thank you for joining me and see you on the next styling tutorial